Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be another video that talks about Donald Trump's uh, problems, but this time we're going to talk about his appeal that's going through the uh, courts right now uh, regarding his uh, claim of uh, absolute immunity because he was president. So we'll see if he's going to win that appeal. The judges seem to think not. Uh, if you just listen to what they responded uh, to his um, to his to his lawyers, I mean the lawyers were saying, "Oh, he's got to be impeached and convicted, and then he can be prosecuted." But it doesn't read that way in the, in the Constitution. And so uh, we'll look at that and uh, see how that goes. Again, I know that some of you have made requests. I will get to them. Believe it or not, we're still trying to get settled into the, uh, the house here. And it's kind of all consuming. But I haven't forgotten about you. And I'm making this a video at the last minute. It's 9.28 p.m. on Tuesday night for release on Wednesday. So I'm really trying to squeeze this in. Thank you for staying with me, and um, let's get going. Here we go. We're going to do the video. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't help but see some coverage with Glenn Kirshner today about uh, how this appeal is going for Trump. And I thought, well, we just have to talk about it. We have to get in on this. Um, and I owe you a video for Wednesdays anyway. So again, like I just mentioned, I know that some of you have made requests. I will get to those requests. It's just uh, my personal life is uh, all consuming right now, just trying to get in order. And you can see that I'm wearing a hoodie. It's unusually cold uh, in Florida right now. I didn't expect it to be this chilly, um, but we have a, a cold snap and uh, it is January after all. So we'll see um, if I can uh, survive that. But uh, so Donald Trump's appeal, uh, it seems like perhaps the judges aren't going to let him get away with it. They've told his lawyers that, uh, they haven't told him anything, but they've given some scenarios that seem to suggest that they don't believe that he can, uh, that any president's going to have total immunity. So let's see what the cards say about that. But before we do that, just a moment of meditation. judges rule in favor of Trump in this, uh, this presidential immunity situation. Three cards. One, two, three. This trial today was so important that he made the effort to go ahead and be there. First card. Will the appellate judges rule in favor of Trump? situation. Queen of Wands, so this is, these are the judges. Um, they have uh, an action, it's, it's, Wands are actually playing sport movement, and they have uh, an action in mind. It's a disaster for Trump, it's the tower card, and he's going to have to lean behind this issue that's so important to him. So, so will the judges rule in Trump's favor? No, they've got an action in, in mind, they've got a plan. Um, it's a disaster. The, the tower card is the complete end of this issue for him, and uh, he's going to have to leave this uh, behind, uh, the thought that he uh, is going to win this appeal. Now, this is a state Supreme Court, if I'm not mistaken, So, and I think that the uh, uh, federal Supreme Court hasn't decided yet uh, to take up this issue. So let's ask now, eventually, will the federal Supreme Court take up this issue from the state courts. Will the federal Supreme Court take up the issue about Trump, uh, Trump's claim that a president has absolute immunity from prosecution just because he was president? 
and see how that goes. Will the federal Supreme Court take up Trump's, Trump's uh, if he makes the uh, case to them, will they take it up? First card. Well, it's the end of one cycle and beginning of another. That suggests that it may be the end of his uh, state um, appeals and it may, be, may go to the federal Supreme Court. Star card. This is Trump. And this is the two of wands, which are short-term plans. So what can this be? Because I'm asking about the federal Supreme Court. Well, it is definitely the end of his cycle and the beginning of something else in the in as far as this presidential immunity is concerned. Um, the star card is telling us that he does have some star power in this regard, but they're thinking about the, the short-term uh, consequences of their decision. I think they will take it up. Now we'll go one step further. Uh, if the federal Supreme Court does take up this issue about immunity for Trump, will they rule in his favor? If the federal Supreme Court does take up this issue regarding President immunity, will they rule in favor of Trump's arguments? I will get to the request. Not today, but I will get to it. One, two, three. Oh, I'll tell you something else that happened. So, you know, I have uh, vision problems and I wear tinted glasses usually because of that. So I was out uh, shopping for some more stuff to make this uh, move complete and uh, happened to take off my uh, uh, tinted glasses in a department store, Macy's as a matter of fact, uh, while I was looking at something because my very close vision is pretty good without uh, eyeglasses. And uh, I laid those glasses down on the counter, on the ledge. I thought I hooked them into my shirt, but they weren't there. And uh, completely uh, have lost uh, my most uh, recent prescription of glasses. So I've had to dig out these old ones, which uh, they're not perfect, but at least it's something. Uh, well, I've ordered, because uh, I ordered my glasses online, so I've ordered a replacement. Uh, exactly the same glasses again. They should come in about five days. So uh, will they? Will the federal Supreme Court, if they take it up, this uh, this presidential immunity situation, will they rule in Trump's favor? Uh, the page of swords. Swords are uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. And this is a suggestion of a, um, a page is the weakest of the royal court. So he just brings a suggestion to the court to say, um, that this is what we have to do. Ah, it's a nightmare for Trump and the Knight of Wands. So the justices come back in with a plan. No, they won't rule in his favor in that regard. So I know this is a quick video. I just felt guilty because I haven't put one out. And uh, I literally haven't had time to do anything uh, that's fun or personal. It's just been trying to get our, our house in order so we can live comfortably. And then I can get these videos. I will get your back up with the videos those of you who've requested. Please hang in there. Keep watching the space. And thank you so much. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently, this person Wise has had their input into it. And uh, the, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box. I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And, you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks it's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific... A synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith, 
who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic theory and history of all of that. Um, it is, uh, gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the, the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now the cards themselves, they got a cool back, they're kind of shiny, and um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close-up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Mm -hmm. 